It's the National Hunt Flat Race. Two more, one furlong. It's not a class seven. I don't know whether it's a group race or not, to be honest. I think it probably is. You know all about them group races at these big meetings. But, uh, probably the same seven that ran last week. Aerial sweep of the course. No hurdles or fences to look at, of course. So. Well, there you go. And B Miracle. Closest to us from Silver Street and Anthelian Damsel. And Transpatch are losing the will. Good time, girl. And finally, last week's Cheltenham winner, the Ghost of Gravy Baby. Transpatch is in the lead. And losing the will in second. Anthelian Damsel is third. And Silver Street and B Miracle. Good time, girl, and finally Gravy Baby at the back. Through the first couple of furlongs, then. And Transpatch is in the lead. I promise I'm not going to say anything negative about this race all the way through it. Losing the Will is in second. And Anthelian Damsel is in third. And Silver Street fourth. And B Miracle. Gravy Baby and Good Time Girl is now the back marker. Transpatch it is. I'm losing the will. That's the winning post. Complete circuit to go. Silver Streaks moving into third. The horse that should be a great B Miracle is next. And Anthelian Damsel, the one that is a great. And then Gravy Baby after that one. I suppose you could say it's gravy. It depends how you like your gravy, really, doesn't it? Some people like it. Thick, some people like it thin, some people like it light, some people like it dark. It depends how you like your gravy, baby. Anyway, Transpatch is in the lead, losing the wilt, which is probably what I am, is in second. Then Anthelian Damsel is in third, Silver Street is back in fourth, and B Miracle and Good Time Girl, and finally Derry Kinton's Gravy Baby at the back. Transpatch leading by two. They're losing the will in second. Leon Van Rinsburg horse B Miracle is creeping ominously closer. Gravy Baby just losing touch a little bit at the back, but that one, I remember one, the bumper at Cheltenham last week, so I only wait for that one to come with a little bit of a rattle at the end. But losing the will and Transpatch. Transpatch now just come back to them. They're beginning to bunch now up top. Anthelium Damsel has got nowhere to go at the moment. Neither Silver Street. I'm well, getting pretty bunched up. Look, a few hard luck stories here, the way things are going. But losing the will is in the lead from B Miracle and Transpatch. Then Anthelian Damsel and Silver Street are both boxed in and are going to need a split. Now Gravy Baby comes around the outside, just gives Good Time Girl a bit of a nudge on the way by. But it's B Miracle who's in front. Gravy Baby is cruising closest to us. What was Derek Hinton doing running that over hurdles at the start of the fences at the start of the season? It's Gravy Baby in the lead. Gravy Baby coming into the final two furlongs and he's gone three quarters of a length clear of B Miracle and losing the will. Then comes Silver Street who's now got a split but I think it might be a little bit too late. Gravy Baby's kicking on again with a furlong and a quarter to go. It's Gravy Baby two lengths clear. B Miracle and Silver Street are not closing. Neither's losing the will and Gravy Baby's hanging on. He, could he do the double? The jockey's having a little look around. He's taking it a bit easy there's still a quarter furlong to go and I think he's taking it a bit too easy because B Miracle's got up to take it and B Miracle wins it Silver Street got up a second Gravy Baby third the jockey will get shot and well I don't know what Derek Hinton thinks about that but his horse looked all over the winner and the jockey started messing about and B Miracle takes it for Leon Van Rensburg Silver Street for Darren Thompson was second Gravy Baby for Derry Hinton ended up only third, losing the wheel, Joshua Sutherland fourth, and good time girl for Graham Clutterbuck was fifth.